welcome back to To The Moon. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's prepare this memento. Also, I fixed the white balance on my face. I honestly... Oh, no, I did not hit it right there. I never think about these. I just kind of go in randomly clicking and hope for the best. And it... Some... No, I did not mean to click that. Dad gum it. No, I'm not hitting it then. It just takes forever. It took me twice the amount that it should have. Anyway, let's activate this friggin' memento. Is that his mom? There's that ticking clock. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy. Growing up so fast. Bye. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? Wouldn't be that action that bad actually, since it ends in A. Joey, Jewie, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh yes. So jealous. Sass coming. They're both. I love these guys so much. Both these characters are so great. Probably the master bedroom. Don't mind me, just peeping through all your stuff. I bet you I'm gonna find an Animorph series in here. Oh, I bet you the Animorphs are... Various book with smudge titles. Oh. Man, I was hoping to find the Animorphs. The Ticking Clock. I'm sure that's a memento. Well, to be fair, a Ticking Clock is pretty annoying indeed. I mean, true. I don't have any analog clocks. We don't have any in this house. Oh. It's the soccer ball. What have we in this household? I can put three in here. I was legitimately expecting to find the Animorphs in here. I'm kind of disappointed that it, kind of disappointed that it's not there. Oh, bless! Not again. It's a glass. I have a glass bottle of bagel cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! I'm pretty easily impressed. I think that was sarcasm? Okay, what am I supposed to click on? Oh, wait. The couch? There we go. We got all the mementos. All the mementers. Let's go up. And you know what to do. What is up with this ominous music? I need to like really pay attention now. Or not, or the, it's like being cautiously optimistic. Also, there's, I figured it out. There's like a second long delay between when I hit enter and when it goes through. Oh crap, I don't know how to do this. I'm just going to randomly click because that always works. I'm sure that people who have like really really study this game or screaming at me it's like no it's so obvious stupid I'm sorry I'm playing this for the story not the actual gameplay there's that soccer ball the game it froze for a sec <laughs> smell like roadkill again where are we Eva? What the heck is that? The void. Fall off that cliff. <laughs> Stay away from the edge. This is Nick's memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. 
Must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was proof for, was proof for, was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, uh, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenager saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling them about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do from here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. A shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Fade to black. Act two. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. We're back. We're back here. Oh, we're back. Don't disturb them. I think that was his voice. They might not wake easily, but they need the connection. Oh, we're back here. Okay. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be a more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, and all it's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work on, if you will. And as for you, you're merely an algorithm, Trace from Johnny. Uh, enough to reflect his likeness. Far from complete. All that we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then... When we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. Hmm. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are only a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over and over again, but that's enough. Don't be so sens sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? Hmm. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that... What I truly am? Whew. Got goosebumps. Ah, all our night's work. Mm. All the memories. 
all the mementos from the different ages. You see what they're doing there? Yeah, that's that's pretty cool of them. Even all grand. Whoop. <laughs> what the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you say yes. <laughs> I like Watts. He's basically me. It's just as fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the la latest memory to the earliest. Wait. Oh, okay. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Okay, so plant to plant. Let's zoom over here. What are the two matching desires? The bunnies. Uh, let me hop over here. One more. Boom! Whammo, bammo, slammo. Now he's got the books. Hey, Eva, check this out. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously, I love it when the game designers have fun with the game. Cause I believe this was like made in, like this wasn't all made from scratch. It was like built off this other. I don't really know how gaming all that works, but I believe this was just kind of built off this open library. So they're kind of making fun of that kind of stuff. Let's see, what's the matching? The the clock. We gotta do this. I love this game because it's so beautiful, but it's also funny. And that's my kind of game. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, I'm always ready. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. <laughs> Not this time, hon. Zoom over here. What did he bring back from the moon? The moon rocks. Famous NASA. Are you ready for this? Same setting as his real last accessible memory. I mean, <clears throat> usually there's at least, you know, some change. Something isn't right. These memories they feel more than having just happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The, the, the desire was transferred, wasn't it? It was. This is indeed the same memory. You'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. But the desire to have been an astronaut should have carried over. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. Uh, my name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of... I just got that Sigmund is like Freud. So, <laughs> Sigmund Agency of Life Generation. Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It 
transfer successfully for sure. Anything? Not even a hair. How could this be? I mean, even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... I mean, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. <sighs> Let's go. to the moon. Johnny's desire to get to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. <laughs> They're just going to see a movie called Moon. What the? This isn't what they said they were playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? To the moon, darling. Ooh, Henry. Way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything changed with John. Need to traverse through John to check. Where's John? Oh. I see. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Mm. Anything change? It's all the same. I'll have to try and igniting it somewhere else, and it's ridiculous. L Lily, just just no explanation. Ooh, perhaps something here could work. I'll definitely remember this. So the so did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. Something big's going on. Whole bunch of shadow people. The ring wraiths. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't a real chain. This is. May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all of its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it to me! Wow, that was terrible. Uh, but I digress. <clears throat> anyway, I know that many of you are wondering. What chance do I have as doing something as awesome and ad as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, uh, blah, blah, enough will, everyone has potential. It could be you, or you, or perhaps you. But I don't. But I don't want to go to the moon. <laughs> then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well. I mean, don't you even want to go there at least a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit. Um, no?
Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I should go over some facts about the moon. <clears throat> to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, you'll die. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel from the moon to here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. Shut up, kid. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, mm, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you. Especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Why is this so much fun? I love this game. Oh boy. Well, what did you think? Well, NASA probably wouldn't have you. But I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you going to go see if that worked? Of course. I'll be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, I mean, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as... Well... We can't afford to... F <clears throat> we can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford it. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we rarely have any. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding, good for you! But here's a riddle, guess where you should go for the honey moon! River? Dang, never. Glass. Slippery. Johnny. J John. What the cucumber? Ugh. Phew. You know what? This, this just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's freaking ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up to... I didn't sign up for this job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? <sighs> Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. I mean, had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would've brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. machine of no effect. Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, but yet 
there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process? Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all the things, what exactly caused it? River? Just what exactly did you do? Sun's rising. Don't have much time left. Wonder if Neil came up with anything. I keep if you wonder what I'm checking, I'm seeing how long I've been recording. That freaking bird. Leave me alone, bird. Boyd. Bird's the word. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel new rain over all the way from here now. Well, that's disgusting. Let's go upstairs. Any luck, guys? How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... <sighs> we just couldn't make any progress. At all. You better soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Oh, actually, I don't remember where the kitchen is. But I'm assuming this way. Oh. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. No, I want it. No, I'm not giving you a turn. Oh, he was painting. Nope. I don't want to read that passage right now because I have got to find Neil. Where's the kitchen? Okay, you're just walking around. This was the. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want one of me. I did not want. Nope. Nobody, nobody knew. I want to go back down the stairs. Let's go this way. Oh, there he is. No, I understand that part, but. Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where'd you get that coffee? Shh! Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes! I feel you in after! Now shh! Wait, isn't this... Where did you find it? in the lighthouse before we started. Now for the last time. Shh. Hmm. I see, I see. And is on it is on this note that I will say goodbye until next time. On this cliffhanger. Because obviously something important is happening with that phone call. But what role did River have in all of this? Why isn't the machine working? <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. And I will see you next week. Bye. I look so evil with these cliffhangers, I know. <laughs>